Welcome to Corporate Actions India. Before delve into today's update let's see some financial preludes that is jam packed with exciting developments. Tata Motors electrifies. Our first pit stop brings us to Tata Motors, igniting the electric vehicle scene. Get ready for an electrifying ride as Tata Motors gears up to commence production of electric vehicles at the Sanan plant. Acquired from Ford India, this move is set to reshape the automotive landscape. Sony Z Merger Drama Shifting gears to the entertainment world, the Sony Z Merger has hit a roadblock. Culver Max Entertainment Limited, formerly Sony Pictures Networks India, has officially terminated the agreement with Z Entertainment Enterprises Limited. Coforge's Q3 Triumph, zooming into the IT sector. Coforge is making headlines with its stellar Q3 performance. Net profit rises by a whopping 31%, revenue up 2%, and a massive $354 million order win. Tamil Nad Mercantile Bank's Q3 results, but that's not all. We're delving into the banking sector with Tamil Nad Mercantile Bank's Q3 results. Despite a substantial growth in lending, the net profit remains flat at 284 rupees crore. Air India's A350 takeoff and soaring high in the skies. Air India is making headlines as it kicks off commercial operations of its first wide body A350 aircraft. The maiden flight takes off for Chennai from the Mumbai airport, marking a new chapter for the airline. NTPC Limited. The board will be considering the declaration of its second interim dividend on the 29th of January. Mark your calendars as the record date is set for the 6th of February, 2024. Cholamandalim Investment and Finance Company Limited. An interim dividend announcement is on the horizon, with the board set to consider payment on the 25th of January. Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited, hold tight as HPCL considers the proposal for the declaration of interim dividend on the 27th of January. Exciting news as Persistent Systems not only declares an interim dividend of 32 rupees but also considers a proposal for a stock split from 10 rupees to 5 rupees. The record date for the dividend is the 30th of January. 2024. Procter and Gamble Hygiene and Healthcare Limited. The board is set to consider the payment of an interim dividend on the 31st of January. Make note of the record date, the 9th of February, 2024. Gillette India Limited. Get ready for an interim dividend on the 30th of January, with the record date scheduled for the 8th of February. 2024. Carborundum Universal Limited. The board is set to consider a proposal for interim dividend on the 31st of January. CSC Limited. Brace yourself for a declared interim dividend of 4.50 rupees, with the record date set for the 1st of February, 2024. Axo Nobel India Limited. The board will be considering and recommending an interim dividend on the 6th of February. Hold on as Travini Engineering considers the declaration of interim dividend on the 30th of January. Mars Financial Services Limited. Please note the revised record date for the interim dividend of 3 rupees, which is now on the 23rd of January. 2024. Kawalkir and Clothing Limited, the company has declared its first interim dividend of 2 rupees. Payment is on or after the 13th of February, and the record date is the 2nd of February, 2024. Shanthi Gears Limited, 
The board will be considering the declaration of an interim dividend on the 30th of January. Went, India, Limited, an interim dividend of 30 rupees has been declared, with the record date set for the 1st of February, 2024. Steelcast Limited, Hold Titus Steelcast considers the declaration of its third interim dividend on the 31st of January. GPT Infra Projects Limited, the company is set to consider the declaration of its second interim dividend on the 30th of January. Tina Rubber and Infrastructure Limited, get ready as the company considers and declares interim dividend on the 29th of January. Automobile Corporation of Goa Limited, Hold on as the board considers the declaration of its second interim dividend on the 30th of January. Suraj Limited, note the revised record date for the payment of interim dividend, now set for the 31st of January, 2024. Gothi Plaskan, India Limited, the company has declared an interim dividend of 2 rupees with the record date set for the 30th of January, 2024. QGO Finance Limited, the board is set to consider the payment of its third interim dividend on the 29th of January, with the record date scheduled for the 9th of February, 2024. Marg Advertising and Marketing Services Limited Intimation of extension of record date for bonus and stock split. The record date is set for the 2nd of February, 2024. Choice International Limited. The board is set to consider and approve a bonus issue in the proportion of 1 is to 1 on the 12th of February. John Dewar Overseas Limited. Bonus issue declared in the ratio of 1 is to 5. Damper Sugar Mills Limited. The buyback period is set from the 23rd of January to the 30th of January at a buyback price of 300 rupees. Indibles Housing Finance Limited. Approval granted for raising funds through a rights issue amounting to 5,000 crores. Salazar Techno Engineering Limited. Proposal of raising funds by way of rights issue. Shri Ganesh Remedies Limited may consider first and final call on the 25th of January. Paul Merchants Limited approved rights issue in the ratio of 1 is to 8 at a price of 64 rupees. Jin Pharmacic Limited revised rights issuing period from the 23rd of January to the 9th of February with market renunciation on the 9th of February. Vivanta Industries Limited, the board will consider the proposal of raising funds by way of a rights issue on the 25th of January. Adroit Infotech Limited, approval of letter of offer for rights issue. The issue period is from the 7th of February to the 16th of February. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up if you like, subscribe, press the bell icon and never miss an update, share and comment your thoughts on the comment section, and stay tuned with Corporate Actions India.